Radical. Welcome to Flea Market Stories, documenting one man's journey into the world of flea marketing. This is primarily going to be about plastic bins. So this is a warning to any of you that were looking for a conversation a little bit deeper than plastic bins, something with a little bit of depth, some meat to it per se. Just giving you a fair warning, this is mostly just about plastic bins. So best to move along and go somewhere else if you are not interested at all in conversations about plastic bins. But if you are interested in plastic bins and you want to hear about plastic bins, then this is the upload for you. Hope you enjoy it. I'll try to make it as interesting as I possibly can. I'll try to, but plastic bins. So what am I doing tonight? I'm driving around on a Thursday night. It's just very, very calming driving around on a Thursday night. Not a Friday night, not a Saturday night, Thursday night. Not even a Monday night. The first of the week, a lot of people are hustling and bustling on a Monday night, but just something about a Thursday night. I just like it. I like it because there's not a lot of people driving out and you feel like you kind of own the road, specifically in certain areas, man. Wow, this is just so calming. It is. Plastic bins. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Tonight I was driving around on a quest for plastic bins. Why am I getting plastic bins? Hmm? How's this working with the flea market, you might say? Well, it has everything to do with the flea market. It does. Because I'm a media salesman, if you don't know. I sell media at the flea market on the weekend. I sell video games, of course. I sell DVDs. I sell music CDs. And these things all require something to put them in. Now, a lot of people at the flea market, they just stack their CDs and they stack their DVDs on the table. And not knocking that. I mean, they don't have anything to put them in. Or they might have an old dirty box. They might have an old dirty box or a like a foot bath plastic bin they put them in. Again, not knocking it, right? But you want to look professional. You want to look professional. And what I did was I started to get these plastic bins from Walmart. I will tell you all what they are. They're Home Edits XL. They're called drawer inserts. But if anyone asks me where I get my bins, that's a trade secret. I'm spe specifically not telling any other vendors where I get my plastic bins. Because I can tell you I'm just using them for my CDs right now. And it's no, uh, it's no, it's a coincidence, it's no coincidence that my CD sales, specifically the past weekend, have shot up, baby. They've taken off. I had CDs before. I had a lot of CDs before. But now, since they're in plastic bins, clear plastic bins, form-fitted plastic bins, a lot more interest. So for me, that's a good thing. Although, sorry about the little pause there. Had to make a turn. Uh, although, DVD sales, bad, terrible, atrocious. There's a lot of reasons my DVD sales are not really where I want them to be. Mostly because DVDs are everywhere at the flea market. My only edge was my DVD disc, my disc looked very clean on the DVDs and they were tested. But still, there's so many DVDs at the flea market. What is the edge I can do for them? Well, I can apply the same magic that I applied to the CDs. Clear plastic bins. They won't be form fitted. That was my only qualm in it. Because right now they're displayed sideways, sideways in cardboard little plastic trays and if you wonder what they look like go to a grocery store or go to anywhere where they sell high C and they still have the packs out there then you will see the high C uh, is in the eight packs is they come stocked in those sometimes you'll find them loose sometimes in a place like Walmart for instance you'll find them still in their trays but here lately I kind of become aggravated 
because the glue is not really that strong. And DVDs don't weigh a whole lot themselves, but when you put 2025 together, you got to be really delicate because those front flaps will just detach. And then you pick it up and then all your DVDs fall out of it and that's not good. Also what's not good is the Walmart that I go to locally, the stalker that stocks those high C's, they just decided to rip the fronts off, hereby destroying the trays for me. I go in there, yeah, I do. I look to the left, I look to the right. I'm kind of a thief. I steal those plastic trays. I steal them. I steal them and I take them to the front and then I lie and I tell the cashier, oh yeah, the stalker said I could have these. So there it is. You know? And if you want to criticize me because I'm a fucking cardboard thief, yeah, I'm a cardboard thief. But not anymore. See, I'm going legit. I'm going away from those cardboard trays. Even though so beautifully the DVDs and the video games they fit so beautifully sideways in there but I'm getting the plastic bins for everything the con is damn it fucking headlights Jesus man thanks for the high beams asshole the con is you gotta pay for them and they're not free but they're four bucks each and you can fit about 20 DVDs in there which is less than the 24, 25 you can fit in these longer trays. But the positives far outweigh the negatives. It's a huge upgrade going from the cardboard trays to the plastic bins. Specifically, like I said, you know, you ain't got to worry about the glue coming off. You ain't got to worry about looking left and looking right and stealing them from Walmart. You don't got to worry about the elements because whenever it rains and they get wet, it's cardboard, right? So this is a, a huge upgrade for the store. And it's something I should have considered a long time ago, seeking out clear plastic bins. Because like I said, my CD sales have been taken off and I, I, I will try to when I have the store upgraded with the clear plastic bins, I'll do another video walk around and you'll see what I mean, right? In conclusion, I set out in this upload to, of course, give you guys and gals an update on my flea marketing, but I want to make a definitive, a definitive upload about clear plastic bins, because I don't know if there's a lot on the internet, a lot of commentaries about clear plastic bins in verse, in comparison versus things like the cardboard trays compared to the regular bins, maybe a black or white bin. No, it's on a different level, the clear. Now, if I could somehow incorporate some lighting, maybe some neon lighting at the store to reflect off the plastic of the bins, ooh, especially with the CDs and the jewel cases, ooh, you got to make it enticing, you know? You got to make it enticing. And that's a key to getting more sales. What else have I done? What else have I been working on other than making sure to upgrade the looks with the clear plastic bins. I am switching out a lot of the cases for things like the PS2 games, the original PS2 cases. I'm making the decision to switch out those for newer style DVD cases. And I know it's less authentic. I know some people like the cases with, that hold the memory card, but just as far as looks, if you take a 20 year old case, versus a year or two old DVD case, you can tell on the plastic alone. Because over time, that plastic will deteriorate, it'll get scratches in it. And which would you rather buy? Would you rather buy a PS2 game in an original case that's all scratched up, all oxidated, and all that kind of stuff? Or would you like to buy a PS2 game in a very clean, fresh-looking black case? 90% of people, I would say, would like the fresher, cleaner-looking black case. And it can make all the difference.